of started back in 2009. It was, uh, I was kind of noticing this emerging of YouTube artists. And they weren't, you know, the big mainstream artists, but they were making a living on YouTube. And it was kind of, it was intriguing to me. You know, I didn't want to be an artist, but I wanted to kind of promote myself as a music producer. And it kind of merged into me being a YouTuber and that's how it all kind of came together. I mean, it's pretty amazing though, because on that path of following, you know, you wanted to do your music, it's propelled you in your career in different ways. Tell us a bit about the opportunities that you've had. I mean, you've worked with Timbaland and a bunch of other producers. How, you probably didn't imagine things would go that way. No, it was kind of a weird moment. Like, I, was, I just posted my fifth video and, you know, it was one of my goals to work with Timbaland, the best producer in my mind of all time. And I was like, after I posted my fifth video, it was like three weeks later, I was in the studio with him. And I was only supposed to stay like one night and it turned into like two months of, of working under him. And I'd say that's when I really became a producer and, and understand music and feeling. And um, yeah, it was a pretty special time. And so for you, I mean, you've, you've had massive reach through this channel. Uh, do you ever think, uh, I mean, I'm sure Obviously, 2009 wasn't that long ago, but in terms of the years to come, do you know what's next for you? Uh, I just hope that I can able, I'm can i able to continue to foster a community. Uh, that's what what's I feel is the most important thing in, in, in doing this now, is to kind of build in the community and, and feel like um, I have a connection with my audience um, while still being able to make awesome videos and, and, and kind of reinvent what I do continually. And you've relocated to LA, right? Yeah. So tell us a bit about that move. I mean, that's a that's a big career move. That did you ever think that this was going that was you were going to be there? No, I think it was. I I never really when when I moved, there wasn't really a community of YouTubers in Canada. Um, it was about three years ago now, and and now there's been a merging of, of a great community here in in Toronto and and, and in Canada. Um, and so I made that move because. Up until that point, I'd never met any YouTubers, and so as soon as I, m I moved to LA, it was like there was, you know, all my the people who I loved on YouTube were there, and I got to meet with them and work with them, and so there's been a, there's been a lot of great things that's come out of being there. Now, to, for people, I mean, we think of our audience across the, we broadcast across the country, CBC. A lot of people wonder, you know, how much goes into these videos, and they're highly produced, you're traveling around the world. I mean, how hectic is your life in this career? Um, it goes in ebbs and flows. It's really like, it's so weird. I'll have moments where it's just like, oh, I feel like nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden, just a bunch of craziness will happen. So um, it's, it's always funny how it all kind of comes together. But yeah, I think like, I'm still thankful that I get to, to make videos and I, I love doing it, so. Do you think that there will ever be a time where you're like, I'm done, I want to retire? Or is this something that you'll constantly have to evolve with? Yeah, I think like, as long as I'm able to do this, I feel like I never thought this is what I would be doing, but I don't know if I want to do anything else. And for, you know, I think a lot of people ask, like, how do people make money? Like, how is this a viable career? What would you say to that? Um, I think what's most important and what a lot of YouTubers have, have figured out is, you know, the multiple revenue streams and it's not about just one thing. So making those opportunities work for you. Yeah, exactly. And I think what's really remarkable about it is it's entirely self-made. Like, you are the, the person that design your your videos, the content, where you where you want to go. I mean, you have complete ownership over your, your brand. I think what... what What's great about a lot of YouTubers is that they, they can kind of do everything, and so they're used to doing everything. And every, you know, for me, I'm, I'm kind of I'm I'm going from scratch and, and, and building things and uh, building. You know, I'm a video editor, I'm a visual effects creator. I'm kind of, I kind of do everything. So um, I think as a as a YouTuber, that's what you have to be able to do. And when we think about only 10 years, you know, that YouTube has been around and celebrating that anniversary. How difficult or how different will it be for people that are now coming up, that are looking at this as a viable career, that want to pursue this? I mean, how hard is it to get to the, the place where you are, per se? Right, yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it used to be. Um, I, I, that's, I shouldn't say that it's not possible and that I think we will see emerging of other YouTubers and, and big YouTubers still to come, but it's not as easy as it once was and there's definitely there's more stuff and more stuff being added to YouTube every day, so.